So now we take a look at uh, an important part of functions, which is when you have a function within a function, uh, otherwise known as a composite function. Okay, but um, just to begin here, uh, let's recap uh, what we know about functions so far. Okay, a function is a, a set of instructions, uh, often mathematical operations for us, uh, that uh, turn inputs into outputs. Okay, often x's into y's. Um, so, for example, here I input uh, whatever I input. I'm going to multiply by two and then add three. Okay, and that is my function. That is my set of uh, operations. So, for example, if I say f of four, I mean please input four into the function. Um, so two times four plus three, and that is eleven. Okay, uh, input four, output eleven. Okay, that's my function f. Um, my function g is to square the input. So if I input 2, I do 2 squared, I get 4. Okay, so those are just regular functions, and you probably know all of that already. Um, but what if I've got this down here? Uh, f of g of x. Um, well, the, the main thing to remember here is that it's basically the same thing as doing f of 4. Okay, instead of plugging in a number, inputting a number, a constant, uh, I'm going to input a whole function. Okay, and I'm not going to get a numerical answer, I'm just going to get a new function. Um, but I just need to do f of g of x. g of x, the function, is x squared. So this is the same as saying f of x squared. So now I need to plug x squared into the f function. Okay, just like I did before earlier. Okay, I do 2 times x squared plus 3. Or basically, 2x squared plus 3. Okay, um, so this is a function within a function. f of g of x. Okay, and it's what we call a composite function. Uh, it also has a different notation now that we can introduce uh, with this little circle here. Um, f, well, it just means exactly the same or, uh, as what we had over here. It just means f of g of x. It means plug g of x into the f function. Okay, um, so then what if I wanted to plug a number into the composite function? What if I wanted to do f of g of 2? Uh, well, it's important to note that I'm going to input that what this really means is that I'm going to input 2 into g, get an output, and then take that number and input it into f, and then get an output. So I could do that one by one. Okay, I need to do f of g of 2. g of 2 is 4. We saw that earlier. We saw that above. Okay, then I need to do f of 4, and I already know that that's 11. Okay, uh, that seemed very quick because I had already done g of 2 and I would already done f of 4. Okay, um, so another way of doing that is if I already know the final form of the function f of g of x, and I do, um, that means I can plug 2 into that final function. Okay, I can do 2x squared plus 3 and plug 2 into that. Um, that's 8 plus 3, and that's obviously also 11. Okay, so two ways of evaluating a composite function. So you can basically... Um, find the f final composite function itself and then plug in the number uh, or you can just plug it into the inner function and then take that answer and plug it into the outer function. Um, either is fine. It probably depends on what you've done in the previous part of the question as well. Okay, so a little bit of extra practice here. Um, so this notation again means f of g of x. Okay, I wouldn't write this in an exam, but just to be clear, that's what it means. Uh, input g into f. Um, so I will take this function and plug it in to f. 5 times square root of x minus 1. Okay, and that's it. That's my function. That's my composite function. Okay, again, I'm trying to, in part b, um, plug in a number 
and I have the final function, so I'm just going to plug a 9 into that. Um, so 5 times square root of 9 minus 1. Again, I could plug 9 into g, get an answer, and plug that into f as well. That would be the other way of doing it. Um, 5 times 3 minus 1 is 14. Um, and part c is another example. I can also just do, I can plug g into itself again. Okay, I can, so what this means is I need to do g of g of 16. I could find, uh, well, there's those same two methods again. I could find the final function. Okay, plugging g into g means I do the square root of the square root. Um, which is basically the fourth root. Uh, okay, then I can plug in 16 and then get 2. Or I can do g of 16 um, just on its own. g of 16 is 4. I'm going to ignore the negative for now. And then I can do g, the outer function, g of 4 which is 2. Um, and that's obviously the same answer. Okay, so the only other thing you'll see here is uh, things like this as well. Uh, the inverse function, if you've done that or not, but um, whenever you do it, uh, you will see inverse and composite functions used sort of in tandem. Okay, so you might find the inverse function g and plug that into f. Okay, uh, and you can get all kinds of combinations with those two. Okay, so that is composite functions.